We have the pleasure of having with us today Professor Jesper Boos Nielsen, Concordium's Chief Scientific Advisor. And we're going to be talking to Jesper to find out a little bit more about what kind of science goes into creating a layer one blockchain like Concordium. Hi, Jesper. Hi, happy to be here. Oh, so happy to have you with us. Thank you so much. And I'm actually, I'm so excited about uh, talking with you because, you know, we've seen in the news recently that Ethereum fees and transaction wait times skyrocketed. But Concordium has a, a consensus mechanism that offers crypto finality. So I wondered, Jesper, can you tell us a little bit more about crypto finality and why it's so important in the light of Ethereum's troubles? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if, if the finality goes directly into solving, um, I mean, uh, the price thing. It's more a capacity thing and certainly something we work on also. I mean, uh, we're working on a mechanism for Concordium um, for doing sharding. Or rather, we've been working on it for the last couple of years, and it, we, it recently got uh, published uh, at one of the top tier conferences in the field, uh, ACM CCS, um, which allows to basically get unbounded scalability. That means if if you if the blockchain is running, you know, and people are happy to use it, and you have a uh, ten thousand transactions per second that people want to get through and currently the blockchain can only do 5,000 transactions. You can just turn up the capacity. You can add what is called another shard. And that way you can always have the demand uh, met by kind of the supply, the ability to consume transactions. And that means you can allow yourself to have a fixed transaction cost like Concordium had, which gives guarantees to business. You know, you know what the transaction cost will be tomorrow. And I, I guess what, what uh, I know, what, what we're seeing with Ethereum, right, is they have not such a mechanism. And that means when demand goes up, when there's a lot of transactions, the ability to consume the transaction is still fixed. So the only way, you know, to select is uh, by paying more and more to get through. And therefore you get the, I mean, the, the, the price uh, skyrocketing. So this is certainly something, I mean, we are working on, I mean, mechanisms uh, to, to solve. In this case, sharding. Yeah. Finality, um, as you mentioned, is certainly important too. Um, so finality more has to do with what we could call uh, delivery time, right? the time it takes for a transaction to appear on the blockchain. So I send a transaction to some node in the network. How long will it take before it appears in, in its place uh, on the blockchain? And with you know early generation blockchains like uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. This waiting time, if you actually want to be sure that your transaction, your transaction is where it will be eventually and it, it, it will not move, you have to wait for hours. And actually, if you really look at it and you're paranoid enough, you have to wait uh, probably for a day. And that's a long time to pay for uh, a bag of peanuts down in the shop. Right? You pay, you wait for a mm -hmm. day and then you can walk out. Um, yeah. So one of the things we looked at early uh, in the center was uh, a finality layer for these uh, Nakamoto style blockchains as they called uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum and, and Concordium, which was an open problem at the time. No one, no one know, knew how to, to solve it. Um, and then within like the first year or something, that was one of the, the things we solved. It's one of the first things that actually then got implemented in Concordium's uh, protocol stack. And what, what we managed to do there is to make mechan mechanisms that makes it, you know, detects when a transaction is where it is and can tell the world when it will, will stay there forever and got that time down to seconds. So it's quite an improvement. I mean, we took it down from, from a day or in best case hours down to, to a few seconds. And that's important for adoption, right? I mean, at some point, I mean, if we really want to put these technologies into, you know, every payment device in the world, you know, I mean, you put your card there, it says beep, two seconds later, you can walk out with your, your bag of, of peanuts. That, that's where we want to be. Right? This we will be we're very happy yeah. about, and they were also, of course, super excited to see it actually implemented and running in, in the real world blockchain. Thank you so much for your time today. I really enjoyed this interview. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on Crypto Channel Direct, powered by Concordium. Now, I hope that you've enjoyed the show for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe by hitting the button below, and we'll be back next week with news you need to know. Until then, I'm Claire Ross Brown. See you next time.